The detached Star Vader forces are a secret extension of the main Star Vaders that only a few commanders know of. They became active when Glendios was defeated by Alfred in Blaster Blade. The main Star Vaders were forced to retreat, having lost 70% of their forces, and Chaos Breaker Dragon suddenly disappeared. Thanks to the data collected by the scouts, the main Star Vaders figured out that Blaster Blade was the key to their defeat. They asked Garnet Star Dragon, commander of the detached forces, to go back in time and kidnap Blaster Blade to their dimension and erase him from the loss of Kray. Aiding Garnet Star in their mission is Photon, a cyberoid designed specifically to aid and follow Garnet Star's orders. Despite being artificial, his dummy emotion system allowed him to act similar to a human to a point that he was described as a perfectly fabricated counterfeit. Going to the past, the Seekers, a troop led by Blaster Blade, were on their way to Xenon to peek a shard of the future. It was perfect timing. Photon and his troops ambushed the Seekers, knocking out and locking some of them. Photon himself engaged in a duel with Blaster Blade. In this fight, Blaster Blade was clearly the better swordsman, but he is only down to one fifth of his allies. Then, Garnet Star appears from the sky, and with his arrival, the morale of the Seekers were demolished. Garnet Star fought Thing Saver and managed to imprison the Guardian Dragon in another dimension. Blaster Blade maintained a straight face. However, his mental state is affected by the screams he heard from his troops evident by the slow decline in his swordsmanship. Photon's window of opportunity started to open. He could now do more than just fend off Blaster Blade's attacks. Some of Photon's attacks were even landing though making minimal damage. Photon thinks to himself, if this keeps up, he could eventually beat Blaster Blade. Photon has now awakened the obsession with defeating the Swordsman of Light. He didn't question this emotion because he thought it was part of his programming. The duel abruptly ends when Garnet Star intervened by locking Blaster Blade out of nowhere. And just like that, the passion and ardor Photon felt during the fight had disappeared. He had once more become a chess piece for his master. Photon could only obey Garnet Star's orders to retrieve Blaster Blade with prudence and loyalty. Once Blaster Blade was captured, the memories of the Seekers were erased. Photon's ego was stimulated during the fight with Blaster Blade. He became able to think for himself, and his first autonomous action was to take out Garnet Star Dragon. To do this, he ambushed his former master during the space-time travel, and Garnet was torn apart by the gaps of the dimensions. Photon then covered it as an unfortunate accident. An open seat Thus the achievement of capturing Blaster Blade was Photon's ticket to promotion. Imaginary Plane Dragon was another commander who stepped up in place of Garnet Star. Around this time, they begin the process of reversing Blaster Blade and creating cyberoids from his memories. The Star Vaders eventually tried to invade Planet Kray once again. Imaginary Plane was one of the commanders of a numberless army that descended into the planet. Focused on the fight at the western side, Imaginary Plane deployed Dark the Zodiac, a counterfeit doomsday weapon based on Omega Glendios, and it led the fight to the eastern side. The two were confronted by Percival, who has received powers from Thingsaver Dragon and Vortex Dragonut, the leader of Perdition's advanced army troop. In a twist of irony, the Star Vaders themselves were facing an invasion. Their flying fortress was raided by a powerful warrior. The commander of the Perditions, Dragonic Overlord, the Great. Though the fortress was protected by mighty soldiers, they were absolutely no match for the Great's power. Despite this, Photon, who was in charge of the fortress defense, remained unfazed. His only command was to release their ace. A warrior armed with heroic white armor and sword, but emits a dark glow of red. It was... Blaster Joker. The reversed Blaster Blade. Dragonic Overlord's fight with Blaster Joker reawakened the Swordsman of Light. Upon returning to normal, they destroyed Star Vader's flying fortress 
and eventually defeating the rest of the invaders. During Imaginary Plane Dragon's demise, he was still able to transmit the data of his golems to another side of the universe. Who did Imaginary Plane Dragon send his data to? My guess is as good as yours.